isn't just about lawn care. The grass factor is about the science behind why we do what we do. So we are stewards of the environment. We are stewards of the planet. It is our responsibility. Playing with tea thatch. Not that this yard is particularly thatchy. Curious to see what it does. Had to put down some weed controls. New property to me. Very, very low rate of triclopyr, quinclorac, and sulfentrazone. Get a control on this. Some tougher to control broadleaf species. We've got wild violets, wild violets. Some a little bit of cudweed in here. Cudweed can be a little difficult to control. So a little ester based formulation. Lots of yellow wood sorrel, plenty of black medic in the back. Look at this. It's very difficult to control. So the goal is the combination of sulfentrazone and triclopyr and quinclorac. We'll give this a nice burn down without doing too much damage to the yard. We'll cause some discoloration. There's no way around it. But it should take care of things like your corn speed well. Let's move on to the next one. Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? Let's make things right. I understand what you're going through. Stay one more night. And I know that it's not too late. Orchard grass, oxalis, it's clover, four wild violets. Tough one. Hammer that one with deep thatch. Same mix as before. Triclopyraquin chlorac, sulfentrazone. See what happens. Grass sprayed out with Roundup to kill out fescue. Uh, did touch up with Celsius. So what we're left with after a little bit of fertilizer, threw the green up. Plenty of Bermuda in here, a little bit in here. That's gonna have a lot of growing to do. This greened up a lot. That's exciting. This will be tough with that tree there, and I think we'll start to get some coverage in here. Over here greened up well. This is all fine. This is going to be tough in through this area, but there's a lot of Bermuda in and among here. Not bad, and then the back. The back was pretty much all Kentucky bluegrass. This is odd for this area. Kentucky bluegrass, Kentucky 31 fescue. For a couple of apps of Celsius, it's knocked the bluegrass back. It killed it, but it has knocked it back. And the Bermuda is coming through. Still going to be very aggressive growing that has to take place. So just aerated. A couple weeks ago, I put down the fertilizer. It's been dry. Man, it's been dry. I went ahead today, plugged it in anticipation for the rain coming later this week. That's going to allow for percolation, move that down into the soil, hopefully help it retain a little bit of moisture as we keep facing these intermittent periods of dry weather. It should give this Bermuda grass what it needs to fill in as much of this as possible. So big giant Bermuda pro growing, got an acre. 
it's a lot of fun all right all right makes the end of another day i hit the new sales i was totally banking on the fact that it was going to rain this afternoon no rain as you can see behind me it pushed all southeast of knoxville maybe the southernmost end of knoxville got rain but uh, the overwhelming majority of it did not this is going on week number three so things are starting to get a little toasty out there not too too bad tomorrow i'm gonna run out take a look at some properties kind of monitor and take note of the effects that so far uh the different products i've applied to the lawns has helped accomplish just to give a little recap you know round one i went out with just ammonium sulfate 2100 round two i went out with a 10010 with ammonium sulfate and potassium sulfate with micronutrients um, round number one had rgs round number two had air eight uh, in this round so far round three uh, we are into i'm holding off on disease control so far um, there's been a couple instances where I've had to spray uh, some disease and preventative measures uh, just from overwatering some establishment issues that are going on. But this round I'm running deep thatch and that's going down at nine ounces per thousand. So I'm going out on a risk this round. I'm nervous. It's been 90 degrees for uh, this is the sixth day in a row, maybe seventh day in a row. Humidity has ranged anywhere from 50 to 90 percent like right now it's just incredibly sticky outside um, but i don't think there's enough soil moisture for brown patch to come on probably round three i will have to resume disease control or begin disease control uh, but really at this point i'm just running a test because this would be the first time i've ever not applied fungicide one i'm a little bit concerned with the amount of fungicide i apply year in and year out uh, number two i want to put green county products to the test as well you're talking to john green county products aren't designed to you know prevent or control disease they would never market it as such but i'm curious to see the impact it would have on the properties um again there's some i'm gonna go ahead and have to touch up uh, just as a preventative measure Anyway, y'all, hope you liked the video today. I uh, hope you liked seeing those new sales and the approach to them. Uh, nothing really easy about those. Hope you like the Bermuda grass, as you can see. I'm still kind of struggling with the whole wake-up period of Bermuda, but I've talked to everyone with the zoysia grass that I was really down in the dumps about yesterday, and it seems to be making significant improvements, so that always feels good. And then my Bermuda yard, for the most part, it's looking pretty, pretty, pretty good. And I'll give you a little look into the line right here. For those of you that don't remember, this area was mechanically aerated. This area was treated with air eight. And not much of a line, but if you stand at it from this angle, you can kind of still see a little bit of a line there. I'm going to go from the other side, Let's see what we see from the other side. There's my wife. Hey, you saw me. Phone call from the wife. Uh, looking out across here, you see here, this is a bare spot from last year. Never did fill in. But looking out through here, not a distinct difference, but definitely thicker over here than it is over here. So that's the daily update on that. Real quick, let's take a look at the front yard. This is the front yard. Of course, I mowed it down. Cars, more cars. Big truck. This is a nice truck. I mowed it down to an inch and a half last week. More cars. I mowed it down to an inch and a half last week purposefully to try and stress it out. I knew we were going to be going into the 90 degree weather period and uh, I know we hadn't had any rain so I scalped the absolute fire out of it to see what it would do. 
I got a little drought stress in here. I got a little drought stress over there. But for the most part, it's doing pretty good. Now if I zoom down in here, let's see exactly what's going on. Looks like a little bit of disease trying to break out, but for the most part, I think a lot of this is damage from uh, mowing it so low. I mean, look at the tips of that grass. That is just, I don't even know if it'll focus on it. It's so terrible. But, uh, let's see if we can do it like that. If you look at the tip of that grass there, I mean, it is just an awful condition. Awful condition. And there it looks like that. Actually, it looks like gray leaf spot more so than brown patch. Interesting, interesting, interesting. But if you look out across it, you can see that the majority of the issues that are going on with this deal with being scouts with a terrible cut quality. So, all in all, can't really complain about the condition of the front yard considering how poorly I treated it so anyway y'all have a good one take it easy